And hello people of YouTube and welcome to the DVD update for the last two months. Um, my apologies for not doing a DVD update last month, it was basically because I didn't have no new DVDs to show you. Um, but I've got a little pile here so I'm just going to go through it, what's added to my collection. So, my first one is Richie Rich, starring Macaulay Culkin. Now this is one of three DVDs um, that um, subscriber Oscar sent to me um, a couple of weeks back. Um, yeah, it's been a film that I'm pretty sure I've seen before, but I don't remember any of it. Um, you know, I most associate Macaulay Culkin with Home Alone. Um, so I do want to sort of go through his sort of early movies. Um, and I recently found out about a film that he was in um, a couple of years ago, actually. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I didn't even know he did act in still. Most of his like most of his films that he's done though he's, he's he was known for being like a kid, um, but yeah so I've got Richie Rich to the collection. Getting even with Dad, which is another Macaulay Culkin film alongside Ted Danson. Uh, I don't believe I've seen this film. I've heard of it. I don't believe I've seen it though. Um, and then my third Macaulay Culkin film, again once again point out whoever designed the artwork is actually amazing. Uh, but yeah, this is the third Macaulay Culkin film, which is The Page Master, with Macaulay Culkin and Christopher Lloyd. Again, I don't believe I've seen that. Uh, I might have maybe seen parts of it as a kid, I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, they're the three DVDs that Oscar sent me. Um, now I do have another two, well one more DVD and a box set to show you guys as well. Um, so if I just show you guys here. Um, so I have this one, so The Haunting of Bates Motel, which actually was filmed. Um, it says here this film was shot in rural um, Pennsylvania, and it was actually shot at like one of the theme parks there. Um, now currently, as uh, as I'm recording this video, I'm currently watching um, this the TV series called Bates Motel with Freddie Highmore. Um, so my mum and dad have kind of taken interest in it. Um, it was a series I don't think they've ever heard of, um, and obviously they've seen me watching it. So my dad actually found this at my work and my mum and dad watched it and they weren't too keen on it. Um, I did say obviously the, the TV series is kind of like a prequel to Psycho. Um, but they weren't on, they weren't really too keen on this so my dad just gave me the DVD. Um, obviously because I'm really into my Bates Motel. He, might, he probably thinks that I might enjoy this. I'm not particularly into horrors but Bates Motel I do seem to enjoy. Uh, so that is that. I've yet to see it though, but it will be interesting because obviously with it being filmed in the theme park, um, that will be quite interesting to see. So my final part for this update, um, and long time coming because I struggled to find it, but it is Doctor Who, the complete 12th season. Um, for some reason, the HMV near uh, the nearest one to me. Um, I've been looking in there and they haven't, I don't know if they've just had a problem with deliveries or stock or anything like that or maybe due to Covid, they just haven't had any new releases in. Um, but yeah, I knew this was on DVD, um, I went down actually on release day to try and get it and they didn't have it in and I've been looking a few times since then and they've still not got it in. Luckily I went to another store in another city um, and I managed to find it. So very happy I've got the complete 12th season now. Obviously with Doctor Who, I believe, um, we've got a bit of a wait for season 13. Um, obviously Jodie Whittaker um, and the girl who plays Yaz, they're both confirmed for season 13. Um, Ryan and Graham are both leaving. Um, and so I believe, obviously, with obviously all the COVID restrictions still in place, um, they said basically filming Doctor Who is like, impossible to do with social distancing. So they'll have to wait until the restrictions are lifted, um, you know, to be able to do it. Um, I believe for Doctor Who as well, if you didn't know, there's another two um, of Patrick Troughton's um, episodes that are being animated. Um, I've been seeing that's been floating around on Facebook. Um, so, you know, stuff are going on with Doctor Who. And of course, you know, we've got Christopher Eccleston coming back for the uh, audio dramas, you know, for the big Finnish dramas as well. So very excited for them. So, um, but obviously this is the newest addition to the Doctor Who collection. Um, so I'm now I once again up to date with the revival series of all the box sets currently. Um, so that is that for this update, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy. Um, once again, you know, I apologise for like not doing 
a DVD update. I've just like had a lot of stuff going on. I just haven't really bought any any new films. Um, so technically, this is like the only new newish like new box that I've actually gone and bought. You know, the other four, three of them were given to me by Oscar, and then one of them my dad technically bought and then gave it to me because he didn't he didn't want a big fan of it. So. So that is that ladies and gentlemen, um, once again I'll say this in this video, if you'd like me to do any reviews of any of the DVDs or box sets um, that I, in any of these videos just let me know, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do um, and so that is that, um, thank you for watching, consider liking and subscribing, it really does help the channel and I will see you all in the next video, bye guys.